Hey, welcome back. In this video, I thought I would share my experience with installing the TP-Link Casa Smart Wi-Fi Switch. This specific model is the HS220 dimmer switch and I installed it in my dining room, mainly because it will allow me to turn on the light when I'm away from home and to also have the light turn on automatically on a set schedule. I'm a huge fan of TP-Link's lineup of not only these smart switches, but all of their network devices. If you're interested in getting one of these smart switches, then I hope this video will help make your decision. So let's get right into the unboxing. TP-Link keeps it simple with the packaging. There's nothing too fancy, just simple and straightforward. The light switch is definitely a different design than the traditional dimmer switches, but it is tasteful and not too over the top. They do provide wire connectors and wire labels which makes things convenient also included are some safety guidelines as well as some basic instructions now i've replaced plenty of light switches and outlets in the past so i'm comfortable doing this type of work if you have no experience working with electrical components and circuits i would suggest hiring an electrician to install this switch for you first step is to shut off the power to the light switch and verify it's off using a voltmeter or tester Pull out the old switch and examine the wiring. Here's what my old switch looked like. It looks a bit odd because of the blue wire, but that is in fact connected to a black wire that's feeding an outlet. One important fact about this Casa HS220 dimmer switch that definitely needs to be mentioned is that you must have a white neutral wire in order to install this switch. TP-Link does point this out on the order page, but it's easy to miss. After removing the old switch, I swapped that blue wire out with a black wire so that it's consistent colored wires. I attached the wires to the switch using the wiring diagram that TP-Link provides on their website. Once everything was hooked up properly, I went ahead and turned on the power to the switch. The Wi-Fi symbol was blinking orange and green right away which just means it's waiting to be connected to the local Wi-Fi network. I tested out the switch to make sure it was turning on the light as well as the dimmer functionality. I really like the buttons for this dimmer. It has a very tactile feel to it and it is quite responsive. I also like the indicator lights along the top that represent how bright the lights are. Attaching the faceplate is pretty simple. It's a snap-on type, so just look for the up direction to be on top and snap the plate right onto the switch. Next, I started the process of adding the light switch to the Casa app. Since I already used the Casa app to control a switch I installed years ago, I already had the app installed and an, and an account created. If you're a new user to Casa, you will have to download the app to your phone or tablet and create an account. In the app, click the little plus icon in the upper right corner. It asked me what I was adding. Since I'm only adding one light switch, I'll click device. On the next screen, you can see all the different devices Casa has. For this install, I selected smart switches. For the next screen, it's just a disclaimer about enabling location. This is a very convenient feature, which allows you to have the switch automatically turn on or off based off of the sunrise and sunset times for your location which is pretty cool. I'll show you that feature in a little bit. In the next screen, I selected the exact model of my switch, which is the Smart Dimmer HS220. It asked if the switch was already wired up, so I selected yes. If you select not yet in this screen, the Casa app will actually give you a nice visual on how to wire it right within the app. Next, the app asked if I see the Wi-Fi LED blinking orange and green on the switch. So I selected yes. Here it shows how to connect directly to the switch from your phone. You'll have to go into your Wi-Fi settings on your phone and connect to the TP-Link switch Wi-Fi. As you can see, I'm doing it right here. Once connected to the switch's Wi-Fi, go back to the app and the app will connect to the switch. Here you'll be able to see the Wi-Fi networks that are within the range of this switch. So pick your Wi-Fi and enter the Wi-Fi password and the app will configure the switch to use that Wi-Fi network. Once the switch connected to the Wi-Fi network, I was able to give the switch a name. In this case, I just simply called it Dining Room Light. 
you can select a logo for it, which they have a bunch of generic ones, or you could even take a picture of one if you wanted. Next, the app will test the dimmer capabilities to make sure this dimmer switch is actually able to control the brightness of the lights through the app. I clicked the test button and the dimmer was working just fine with no flickering. Once the calibrations are all completed, the Casa app will give you a brief overview of the switch's capabilities. I then did some testing to make sure the light switch turned on and off through the app. Also, I checked out some of the presets that you can set for the brightness. Now this screen is where you can set a schedule to either turn on the light or turn off. And you can set a start time or use the sunrise and sunset times that I mentioned earlier. So for example, if you wanted to turn on the light every day at sunset, the app will adjust accordingly based off of your location because we know the sunset times can vary throughout the year, especially in areas that still follow daylight savings. Some other features include away mode, which is exactly what it sounds like. The switch will turn off during the period of times you're not home, so you save energy. There's also a timer, which you can set to turn off the light or turn on the light after a period of time. It's like if you're scared of the dark and want to get a running head start before the lights turn off, not mentioning any names. On the bottom of the switch, there are two buttons for reset and restart. Holding down the reset button will reset the switch to factory defaults, like as if you just bought the switch and installed it for the first time. This will come in handy if you're moving or if you moved into a new house that has this switch and you need to reset it so that you can connect it to a new Wi-Fi. The restart button can be used if you need to restart the switch because maybe it's not communicating with the Wi-Fi or if it's not communicating with the app properly. It's nice that TP-Link made these external buttons in the event something goes wrong with the switch. Overall, I am really impressed with this smart dimmer light switch and I would highly recommend it if you're looking to add it to your smart home setup. I should mention that Casa devices are compatible with Google Home as well as Alexa. I've always liked how TP-Link provides a lot of useful information in regards to installation and setup on their website. Their app is also very straightforward and shows you exactly what to do. Hope this video helps you guys out. If you have any questions or concerns, leave a comment in the comment section below. You can also email us at the email address listed in our main page. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.